My name is Lutendo Mkondereri and my partner is Quentin Mashile. Together we are designing a magnetic direction finder to detect lightning events. Mm -hmm. There are two types of lightning. There is a cloud to cloud lightning and then there is a cloud to ground lightning. We are interested in measuring the cloud to ground lightning because that lightning can actually damage buildings, electrical installation and also it has a potential to kill a human being. There are different measurements that can be done on a lightning. For example, uh, we can measure magnetic field, electric field, and also a peak current. We are interested in measuring the magnetic field and use that information to estimate the direction of lightning. So the, the challenge in our design is to actually design and test the magnetic direction finder without having to measure the real lightning. The magnetic direction finder comprises of two orthogonal low antenna sensors. Uh, which has 10 number of 10 and at a diameter of 30 centimeter and an electronic circuit to measure the magnetic field produced by the lightning stroke. The purpose of the design is to determine the location of the lightning event with respect to the magnetic loop antenna sensors, which is done by using the voltages induced across the two loops and calculate the azimuth angle of the lightning event location. This is a setup done at the high voltage laboratory to test the magnetic direction finder. The magnetic direction finder is placed at different locations with respect to the impulse current generator and measurements of the voltages across the loops are taken. The data shows the actual azimuth angles for the allocation of the source and the angles measured by the magnetic direction finder. The graph shows the azimuth angles measured by the magnetic direction finder with an error of plus or minus 4.4% when compared to the actual angles. One of the tests that was done on the loop antenna is the orientation test. The aim of this test is to see how the voltages are induced when the loop antenna is orientated differently with respect to the source. The loop antenna is rotated from 0 degrees to 360 degrees with loop 1 being a reference. These are the results that were obtained. At 0 degrees loop 1 voltage is larger than loop 2 voltage. At 90 degrees loop 1 is smaller than loop 2, but loop 2 is negative due to reverse polarity. At 180 degrees loop 1 is larger than loop 2, and they are both negative. At 270 degrees loop 1 is smaller than loop 2, and loop 1 is negative while loop 2 is positive. At 360 degrees we are back at the original position. This result shows that the design loop antenna can detect magnetic field at any position around it. The measurements of the magnetic field taken by this design can be paired up with the electric field measurements to pinpoint the exact location and distance of the lightning event stops. This helps understand the, the behavior of the lightning event and how it can cause natural disasters.